Okay, this is a quick introduction to um, Bash Lab number one, which is part of the, the uh, current homework here at Smith. Um, you have the uh, URL for the, uh, the lab right here. And what uh, you're going to be doing in this lab and other labs that you'll have in, in subsequent, subsequent uh, homework assignments is to um, play with Linux command, get a little more familiar um, with working in a Linux environment where all you have available is a, um, a terminal called Apple Shell. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to back up your file, just in case you already have created some files and, um, and you know, you mess up, you delete files that you, you know, that you wanted to keep, maybe homework files. We're going to make a backup and copy the backup to um, the instructor's directory, to my directory. So then, in, in, if that's the case that you, you delete something that you didn't want to, I should be able to give, put it back to you. Um, we do have a system, our, our Linux servers are backed up automatically, but it's a little longer, it would take a little, a little longer to get uh, files from our um, system administrators. So um, that's the part that is here, the commands that are here. So um, CD always brings you back to your home directory. The home directory, you see here that I'm logged in as a student, so I'm, I'm working in a student environment. CS231A-CR, I'm using this just for demo purposes. Whenever you are, and you're going to do that today, whenever you are um, in a folder somewhere and you want to go back to your home directory, I'll just see by itself. Take me back home. I'll see how that works. And then, so this command tar, tar stands for, for tape archive. It's, uh, it's a leftover from when we used to back up on tape. And um, create or compress, view what the files are, and put it in backup.tgz. That's going to be the name of my backup. And star means everything. All the files that are found, please back them up. And it only found two files, the lab1.asm, scalloping.asm, and a, a, a directory, a folder. We will recognize it with the slash at the end. So now, if I do an ls, they stand for list. So one of the commands you're going to be using today. I see that I now have an extra file, which is the backup. And rsubmit is just the command we use at Smith for um, you to um, submit files to the instructor's account. We're not going to not going to do that too too much in this class. We're going to use Moodle. Um, this is left over from from um, when we used to use Linux more for uh, as well for homework collection. Okay, so that's just to be safe, and now the files that you have here will be safe um, away, can be retrieved just in case. So, creating directory. So, today we're going to play with several commands. One of them is make directory, create a folder, um, cd to change directory, the rm to remove a file, and rmdir to um, remove a directory. So here is what we're going to try to do today. So imagine that these are folders. So 231a-xx, that's my home. I've, the little tilde here says I'm in the home, and what the, the name of my home is, is the name of, of my account. So that's always the way it works in the Linux system. Your home folder, its name, is the name of your account on the Linux. So right now, my home, I am in a folder called CS231A-CR, and that's what is represented there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called Lab1, a folder called Homework1, a folder called Miss Miscellaneous, and I'm going to put, put Prog1, and these programs are already written, so I'm going to copy them from the instructor's directory. I'm going to put Prog1 in Lab1, Prog2 in Homework1, I'm going to put Prog3 in demo, which is a folder inside the miscellaneous folder. And I'm going to put Prog4 in a folder that is a picture that is a subfolder of miscellaneous. All right. So I'm here in order to create a directory or a folder called Lab1. Very simple. Make EIR, sorry, Lab1. LS. Now Lab1 here is a folder. And that's the one that I have here. I need to create homework one, make directory homework one. Alas, now I see that homework one has been created. Miscellaneous, make directory 
miscellaneous ballast to verify and now miscellaneous is here and now I need to create demo and pictures inside miscellaneous so I'm going to CD I'm going to change to miss change to miscellaneous and now I see that my current location that is what we call the, the working directory is home miss so I'm in the miss miscellaneous folder inside home and if I do an ls, there's nothing. It doesn't list anything because I just created it. So now I need to create demo and pictures. Demo and pictures are inside this. So now that I am inside this, make the demo, make the pictures, ls. So now I have demo and pictures inside my miss. Um, folder. All right. So now, how do you um, put these files? You're just just going to use get copy. So let me just do that. I'm going to put prog three inside demo. So I'm in miscellaneous. I want to go into demo. CD change directory to demo. All right. So now you see I'm in this demo, and I want to put prog three. I'm going to copy it from the, the instructors directory. So get copy is just a command that is that we use at Smith. It's not a typical Linux command. Get copy. Asm. All right. It has been copied from the instructors directory. If I do an ls, I have proc three right here. All right. So now I'm in demo, and I would like to go to pictures. Cd dot dot will bring me up one level to my current directory slash pictures and now I am in pictures you see here in the pictures folder of the miscellaneous folder if I do an ls there shouldn't be anything because I haven't put anything there and I need to put prog for that as a get copy from the instructor prog for that as a all right ls now in pictures I have prog for that as a all right so um, I'm giving you all kinds of direction for you to do something similar. So you'll, um, you'll do that, cd dot dot, always brings you back to your current directory. So I was in pictures, cd dot dot brings me into miss, cd dot dot brings me home. If I want to go directly to miscellaneous pictures, I can go do that by just typing it. And always CD brings you home directly. So the dot dot always brings you up to your parent directory, parent folder. Um, so play with that, and you should be able to um, to see that uh, to pretty much do uh, what we've, we've just done there. Um, new directory. Tool. Also, to remove a directory, you can remove a directory with remdir as long as it's empty. So let me remove everything that I've just created here. So let's see, there's homework one, CD homework one. There's nothing in there, so I can go back up and say remove directory homework one. Um, LS lab one, there's nothing in lab one, remove directory lab one. Um, miscellaneous, ah, there are two. Um, Directories, folders in miscellaneous. So, in order to remove them, I'm going to have to go to this. And then, if I look at demo, there's one thing in demo. So, cd demo, remove part 3 that has them. cd up, sorry, cd up, uh, cd, so I miss ls, pictures, cd pictures, there's part 4, remove part 4. Okay, so now both demo and pictures are empty. I can remove them. Remove demo. Remove. And you see here what, what I can do with uh, Linux is that I can start typing the name of the folder I want to remove. So I just type pi, and then if I tab, Linux will be clever enough to look around to see if there's anything that starts with pi. We did find pictures. So it types it automatically, autocomplete for, for me. Remove this. Nothing in this anymore, so I can go up one level and remove this values. All right, so I've created um, different things here. 
Okay, so I'm going to ask you to do this. You know, I have to um, create this type of folder. Create, so that's your home. You're going to have homeworks with an S, folder miss with an S, and homework one will be a folder inside homeworks, and demo will be a folder inside miss, and pictures will be a folder inside demo, and we'll put prop three, prop four here, prop one, prop two here. So try to figure this out on your own. And um, then I'm showing you a command. So find is an interesting command. It's a very, very quick and efficient way of searching through all your files. Right now you don't have many, but if you um, were, uh, if you've been using a Linux system like a Mac for a while, you could go through hundreds, thousands of files very quickly with find. So um, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure I have much going on here because I've removed everything. Um, let's see. Uh, from here. Oh, it's not. Anything starting with Azure? No, it's not. Okay, you found only two. Um, two files that are as in files. So find is a command in Linux, and I'm saying find dot dot means here. Look, start here in my home directory, because I'm in home. Minus name. Look for any file name that is of this form. Star means any pattern whatsoever. As long as it's a dot as in at the end, I want to know about it. And then minus print whatever you find, print it on the screen so I can see it. All right, so now very quickly, make your entry homeworks, and see the homeworks, get copy uh, uh, one asm, get copy uh, asm, so now I should have two files, prog1 and prog2 in, in homeworks, go back home, and do my find command. So I'm gonna use my arrow key here to go back to my history, and find the command that I, I want to run again. And now you see that it will have gone to my whole directory tree. Well, I found lab, lab1.hasm homeworks slash prog. So in the homeworks folder, a file for prog1, homeworks folder, a file for prog2, and so on. So find is a very nice command to use. It's a little cryptic, but after you've typed it a few times, um, it's a nice one to look very quickly through your through your files to find something. Then what I'm going to do is that I, I created two programs, one called make lab one tree, and the other is called make lab one tree two, and it's going to create a whole structure of folders automatically for you on your in your account. And you're going to be um, going through it and finding different kind of properties, interesting properties. Then I'm going to show you how to move files, so MVs for moving a file from one place to another, CP is for copying files, from one place to another. And remember, dot always means here in your current folder. So this command will move prog1.azm, which is in folder homework one, to wherever I am, which is my home. So this, when you see that I could CD at the beginning of a series of commands, is just to indicate that uh, I want to make sure that you're back in your home folder. And then you can do different things. Um, all right, so the challenge, and you'll have to submit this, uh, which is part of the homework, challenge two, I'm asking you to, to uh, run this program, metlab one two two. So cd, back home, metlab one two two. Doesn't seem like anything has happened, but if you do an ls, you'll see that there's a new folder, i in your home directory. So you'll have to figure out, so that's the starting point, I'm giving you a hint here, it's a starting point of the hunt. You're going to hunt for a mystery file as soon as you find it. You'll see there's only one file in all that directory tree. Once you find it, look at it. So how do you look at files? Well, you can emax a file, for example, ls. If I want to take a look at what that file is, it could be max lab one as in, and I would have access to the file. I could look at it, control X, control C. But you can also very quickly display it on the screen without editing it, and that command is cat. 
So CatLab one has them, we display it, and then with my touchpad, I can go up and down. So by doing that, you never leave the prompt. So see, I'm back at the prompt here. Um, so that's another way of looking at files. So there's a mystery file. Use either Emacs or Cat to look at it, and you'll have some information, some directions about what to do. All right, good luck.